Hey there, EPBR membership. For those of you that do not know me, my name is DK Rankin. I am one of the directors at EPBR, as well as the chairman of the PR and web page committee and vice chairman of the HR committee, as well as the education committee. This video is to kick off the EPBR's how-to video series. Today, we're gonna to go over the do's and don'ts when showing a home. This is meant to be a great resource tool for our new membership out there and a refresher for our existing membership. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's say we have a potential buyer that is looking to see a property. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open MLS. So let's say we have a potential client that is looking on this listing in Martinsburg, right? The first thing that we need to do is we need to scroll down to where it will say showings, right? This lets you know whether it's a go and show appointment or whether it is an appointment only. Something else to be conscious of is right here. It'll say in person or it'll say live video. If it does not say live video and you want to do a FaceTime with your client that cannot make it to that showing, you need to call the agent to make sure it's okay before doing that. So we have selected this property requires an appointment. What we're going to do in MLS is we're gonna come down here to showing time, or if you do have the showing time app, all you have to do is hit schedule a showing, type in the property address, and a very similar screen is going to come up. Now, down here, we have two different things. We can do a showing cart. A showing cart typically is if you were showing multiple properties. One thing that's really great about this is it will show you the distance between the listings and you can even send that to your client so that way you're being the most effective and nobody's wasting gas. So let's go ahead and we're gonna schedule a showing for this property. Now, if the seller does have times blocked up, they will show here. They will also show times if they have already been reserved for another showing that are not available. This particular showing, we have wide open availability from the 8th to the 13th, and if we click on this button up here, we can even go further. Let's say I wanna request an appointment for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, we are gonna select a showing. You can also use this if you're scheduling the appraisal, the inspection. Showing time can be utilized in a multitude of ways and we'll cover that in a different video series. But today, we're just gonna talk about showings. The next time moving down, you do need to select whether it's a live video or not, just so the agent or seller gets the proper request that's there. Appointment in time. Typically, these appointments are set up and the seller will say, hey, you know, I have a maximum appointment time of 45 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes, whatever you would like to do. This particular listing happens to be a new construction and you have any window that you would like. Let's say you have a client that says, hey, I really want to walk this property and figure everything out about it. I want to do an hour showing. Awesome. You can also go down here and you can add a buyer's name. However, it's not required. After that, we're gonna hit request appointment. Now this screen is going to come up and see how it says request not yet confirmed. What it's going to do is it's going to send a showing request to the agent or owner of the property that is approving the showings and they have to confirm it. Now, if it is a go and show property, we do highly recommend you still go in through showing time and at least request the appointment just so the agent or owner knows somebody has been in that home, whether it be vacant or not, it's courteous to do. It's extremely important to educate our clients and tell them, hey, we're waiting on the appointment to be confirmed. It is a direct ethics violation to enter a property that has not had a appointment confirmed. This is just an example of what that showing confirmation will look like. Now, please note, if you do have the Showing Time app, you can set yourself to receive text messages, emails, phone calls, whether it is approved or denied. Again, always remember to make sure an appointment is confirmed prior to going into the house. 
Well, there you have it. That is how you request an appointment through showing time. A couple of good practices to keep in mind. One, if you're gonna be early or late, please make sure that you communicate that to the listing agent. I ran into an instance this past week where a seller got very frustrated because a buyer and their agent showed up 40 minutes before the showing. If you request a showing for a specific time, make sure that you show up during that time or inform the agent to make sure it is okay. Again, we always go through showing time or call the agent directly to see what their preference is on how to request it. Some agents will say, hey, no, just go and show it. I know you're gonna show it. Always keep in mind, showing time tracks every time somebody requests an appointment, whether you confirm it or deny it. That brings me to my second point. If for some reason you do have to cancel that appointment, go in and cancel. If you have to reschedule, hit reschedule. Don't let the showing happen and then reach out to the agent that said, hey, well, we just didn't do that. Because you do intervene with, with families, especially if it is owner occupied, because that seller does have to leave the property. And if you're not gonna show the property at the appointment time that you requested, then it's kind of a waste for the seller and an inconvenience for them to leave their home at that point. And always remember, the term going behind the sign is never a great practice, which is where you are just knocking on a door and talking to the seller directly about showing the property. That is not ethical and it is not right to do. Now with some awesome help from my EPBR colleagues, our 2022 past president, Donny Gamash, and our 2023 vice president, Angela Horner, they are going to give you an in-person scenario of the do's and don'ts when showing a residential property. I am so excited to show you this home. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath with a large backyard, just like you're looking for. Come on, let's go. Okay. I love the open floor plan. <sighs> you too. definitely see my furniture fitting in here. I have a sectional wall. Nice. Like how it's open to the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. A beautiful backsplash. Mm, I like this spice rack. I've never seen that before. Mm, that's my favorite kind of one. Hmm. I'm gonna check out the cabinets, see how my stuff will fit in here. No, no, Miss Buyer. It is not okay to touch a seller's personal items. It is okay to look in the cabinets, but not okay to touch a seller's items. I just wanna look and see how the plumbing looks underneath the sink. It is okay to look inside the cabinets. We all wanna look underneath the sink to make sure it hasn't been leaking. We just don't wanna move the seller's items and touch their personal items. That was a really nice kitchen. Yes, I'm excited to look at this backyard. I'm loving the patio. I'm Let's check it wait out a now. moment to check out the backyard so we don't track any dirt into the house. Let's look at the house first, then go outside. And there is a half bath on the main level, which is super convenient. Oh, I had a long trip. I, can I use this restroom? I really have to go. Uh-uh-uh. You're not allowed to use the bathroom at showings. Agents are responsible if their clients or themselves do use the toiletries and have a problem. And as I mentioned, this home has a smart thermostat. Oh, I've never seen one of those before. Now, does that hook up to my phone? How do I, what? Uh-uh-uh. Do not adjust the temperature in someone else's home. This is a spacious primary bedroom. I'm loving this dresser. I want to see what the drawers look uh, uh, like. Uh, uh. Remember, we don't touch personal property. One. 
Oh, I love this closet. It's got all the space I need. <gasps> These blue shoes. I uh, uh, uh. Remember, we don't touch personal property. Well, that's it. Well, I am ready to make an offer. I want to do list price. Uh, uh, uh. Be mindful. There are almost always smart devices at homes that we are touring. Keep that in mind and don't discuss offer details inside the home. Thanks for watching our video of do's and don'ts when showing a residential property. Please remember to be courteous and respectful of a seller's property, whether it's vacant or occupied. And remember, if the showing instructions say to leave a business card, make sure you do so the seller knows that you did show up at your appointed time.